Hello, this is Ozan Uzun from IBM Lab Services Turkey and today I am going to show you the new features of HMC 8.2 and I want to install a wire virtualizer via the template facility of HMC. Let's have a look on the new HMC. You can see it's quite different than the old one. Let's check this out. This is the old look that everyone is used to. And this is my target server, this one here. And I'm going to install a HM uh, install a virtual other server on it. The logic is a is a quite different one. Formerly we just click create partition on the server. Now we have templates here this is the one that I tried before because I did not know how to copy this quick start one because I did not figure out that you can click right on this one so I was just clicking and searching for buttons all around now it's easy I edited it this this uh, template for me for my purposes this is a test system so I have some slow local disks and I have sadly fast Ethernet not gigabit so I need to pause it sometimes this video to make it not so boring so let's do this you see I have some servers in my lab this is the one that I'm going to use today you can see there are some resources in here this deploy power VM feature is a first setup thing so it will delete everything on that one because you see there is one BIOS here already because of my previous tests you can deploy the AX, Linux or IBM I partitions later but if you click this deploy power VM template thing then it will reset it yeah they are already deleted so it's a first time setup we shall simplify if you are not used to the logic of Virtual SCSI mapping, bio NPR and stuff that that will take care of everything. It was create I think. Up, oh, what is it doing? It deleted it. The HMC. Just wait. Maybe I should pause. it did not take much this is my first while uh, Linux make it one you can also handle two wires but I like the resources for that so I will just install one virtualize server this is my resources click next yes this is the important one because I will install it from Nemon Linux facility Nemon which is integrated in HMC I will need this Ethernet card I have two SAS controllers by the way you can install Nemon Linux also on your laptop I have it on my laptop I use it sometimes so when you click next so let's run I think this step will create the virtual server or so called LPAR logical partition mm, starting success really yeah fast okay on the next step but well, this is the steps you can see oh, virtual IO server installation Pause it. Yeah, I'm back again. Now I'm going to install Virtual IS server. You can choose NIP server if you have one in your environment or like this one. I will just use my HMC to do it. This is the public IP that I need to use, and I have one BIOS, latest version, I think. I have two ports. The first is the upper one, keep in mind I cabled that one. You see I have a IP address in my mind, let me... It's 
class um, it is what you get where should be that one. so it will just act HMC will act as a name server and if you want to check the, these things these are okay on my setup but if you have some VLAN configuration you might need those oh next ready on your mark let's do this oh I want to monitor the virtual console too what it does is like it will I think activate this little server here you see this is my new Linux stuff running around it will check the virtual IO ISO files it will create one TFTP image I think let's see yeah it's doing some stuff Nemo Linux you can see Nemo yes I have one make a system backup let's wait I the virtual ISO server consists of two DVDs or ISO files in this case Hello, it is done. Let's accept the license. You see, it's done. Next. The only remaining important remaining thing is the shared Ethernet adapter or the network bridge that will be used for the other LPARs to reach the public network. Uh, this uh, template uh, process also has the ability to create a virtual network adapter called shared Ethernet adapter I think it's called something different here let's pause this you see the, la the last step important for us is here the network bridge configuration then it is done actually virtual bridge or virtual bridge or shared Ethernet adapter setup Normally you can it it is good that you have a like link aggregation LSCP or round robin thing so you can select both of them and it will act like a link aggregation device so one of them if one of them will fail it will continue on the other one but I have one cable here on the setup so I cannot use this now one of the the other important thing actually here is if you had multiple virtual ISO servers uh, you can define in the template if you want to use load sharing or a uh, failover already in the template without going into details in the terminal normally this this is like we go to terminal like type make a virtual device like this is the physical adapter that the other one is the uh, and this is the physical adapter, the other one is the uh, virtual adapter, so bridge them like a layer to bridge so the L parts can go out. Now, that will take some time. We have a surprise here because normally uh, shared storage pools is a, is a facility you always do on the terminal, but now we can do it on the HMC. And this is surprising. The surprise here is that there is one cluster which is on other nodes. I mean, this is a new fresh installation, but in the same lab, in the same subnet, there is one wire cluster. It already discovered it. If you had the network connectivity and the disk assigned from storage, you can directly add this node to cluster. This is really, really cool. This is IO process. Okay. Yeah, the setup is finished. Uh, I think I, lo I lost the summary page on the video, but it's not that important. Let's oh, oh. let's 
Yes. You see that let let's check if it's created the shared Ethernet adapter already. Yeah. It already created the bridge and it's available. And it, it take the IP address also on top of that interface. So you saw on this video that you don't have to go to the server room and insert Azure disks kind of stuff. You just you can just start using your uh, power servers with the ease of HMC 8.2. Thank you.